everyone. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see me, but it's Friday evening. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're just on our way to the Natural History Museum. There's some science-y thing happening. Do you know what's happening? Something. It was a Science Museum Week or something like that, isn't it? No. You I think it's just today only. It's called Science Uncovered. But we're meeting some friends there and they've been there since about four o'clock, I think. But it's now eight o'clock and we've just arrived. Yep, too much traffic. <laughs> too much traffic. Some will finish work late. But yeah, we're on our way now. I have no idea what to expect. It's not really my kind of thing, but let's just see. Oh, is this it? Yeah. I was Snapchatting in the car and I actually realised that my foundation looks like it doesn't match my skin, but it does. It's just that I tried baking again for the second time in ages and do you know what? I've realised it's not for me. Maybe it's the powder that I use, I'm not sure, but it's kind of making me look very grey and ashy. What do you think? Yes, you do look a bit grey. I thought you were one of the statues out there <laughs> for these, this place we're going to. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But anyway... <laughs> Queen's Gate. Oh, it looks so creepy. How spooky does this look? Perfect for Halloween. What are you trying to get out of tonight? I have been after one of these for years. I wish it came with the frame though, it's so cool. You basically scratch off whatever countries you've been to. This is more my kind of thing. This is the most random thing I have ever seen in the Natural History Museum. If you're in the area and you need to top up on some Barry M makeup, you can buy it here. So, so weird. How was it, Jess? Yeah, it's good, it's interesting. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't really my thing. Uh, we did kind of lose our friends, we're now waiting outside for them. It was really busy, so we hey. kind of got kicked out of the exit. <laughs> 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 what is that? That's so cute. <laughs> So we are a little bit tipsy. No, not we, I'm not, she is. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I'm a bit tipsy because I had a white wine spritzer, but it was a large one. He didn't ask me what size. I think it's normal size. No, it was a large glass. I don't often drink wine, so when I do, I'm always like, woo! Stop whining. Anyway, <laughs> shut up. She's whining, that's why she had wine. Wine not. <laughs> Look how drunk she is. On one glass, that's like a cheap night out, isn't it? It was white wine spritzer, so it's going well, to... Oh, spritzer, what's it do? Glass. Give a bit of, like, boost, does it? <laughs> anyway, um, so I didn't vlog much at the Natural History Museum. It isn't really my thing, if I'm completely honest. She gets bored easily. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it isn't really my thing, but it was it's nice to catch up with friends. I didn't actually vlog our friends because I don't really want to be that sort of person that just pulls out the camera on people that you haven't seen for ages. Oh, but look at how pretty the Natural History Museum is. It is pretty from the outside, but I'm not a museum person, but art galleries I love. Yeah, you've definitely got bored in the, you know, <laughs> this museum here. I was literally like, is it time to go yet? Is it finished yet? Is it, can we go after this somewhere exciting? I said, hang on a minute, we are actually here <laughs> having some good fun. Do you know what? I actually felt like Ross Geller. That is exactly who I felt like. And I was like, no, no, no. She felt, she felt like Rachel. Yeah, I felt like Rachel. Because I was like, dinosaurs, really? I mean, yeah, it was great. But do you know what? It's just dinosaurs. It's just fossils. It's just rocks. Sorry if I offend anyone out there. Sitting in the car, shivering, and we're looking for somewhere to get some food. I don't think anything's open in South Kensington. We're hungry. It might have to be Edgeway Road. As you guys, you can't run out of food there. <laughs> no, everything's open till four, so I think we're gonna go there now. Mm. I'm very close to this camera. Sorry, I think we're gonna go there now. <laughs> everyone, it's Sunday today and Jas and I are off to Olympia. I don't know what I'm tagging along for. <laughs> He's my plus one. Um, I got some tickets to the garden party, so I managed to get Jas a plus one. I don't know how she persuaded me to go. <laughs> don't even ask. He's so excited, I'm really. not. Anyway, we're almost here. <laughs> just got inside 
outside and I'm really surprised. It's not as busy as it was last year. It's actually really quiet. You can see the floor. You can walk around in peace. I'm so, so surprised. Okay, you can't actually see anything. I bought a Style Pro brush cleaner. This is so exciting. Happy? So happy. This is going to make my life so much easier. I've wanted one for ages. I'm going to look really close to this thing. Come let's go. I've got an idea. Yes! This is literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like the car's dress is too tight. Where's the wing mirror gone? So we've left the beauty show and we've come to High Street Kensington looking for some food because we haven't really had lunch or dinner. We found this Thai restaurant and their menu looks really good. Um, I think it's a bit early for dinner because it's just gone six o'clock so there's no one in here. But we're in a place called Papaya Tree, I think. Yeah, so we're not really close to the panel, but the waiter just shouted out. Didn't you enjoy it? Mm. Actually shouted at me. <laughs> We can do a little role play for what happened, but I was a bit like taken aback. So basically, so I asked for the pad thai, but I wanted it vegetarian. Um, and then I said, oh, does it come with tofu? And he went, what? <laughs> 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 so, like, and I was like, oh, sorry, sorry, does it come with tofu? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really? We're both so adventurous, we both got the bad time. Hey everyone, I've just got home and I'm about to take my makeup off. I feel like my vlog has been all over the place today because I try to Snapchat and vlog at the same time, which is always a disaster. And do you know what? Today was one of those days. I actually ended up failing miserably at both of them. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that I bought, including some of the goodie bags that I got, because I got quite a few bits from different brands. So first of all, I went to this stand called Glitter Express. Um, I just wanted a few loose glitters because as you may have seen I've started doing my Halloween tutorials and I have a look in mind uh, which I might be using the glitters for so I picked up four different types these were only cheap they were £1.25 each so I picked up a gold leaf glitter and a rose gold leaf which I thought was really different it's really cool I mean it's not actually glitter but you know whatever and I also picked up this silver hologram glitter and this cracked ice iridescent glitter Thing. I should also point out that I'm not filming on my main camera so I can't actually see if all the bits I'm showing you are in focus I can't even see if I'm in focus so yeah I apologize for that but this is my vlog camera that I've just propped up on some books next up the one stand that I really wanted to visit was the Waxbert stand. If you saw my video or read my blog from last year, I'm not sure what I did, you'll know that I picked up the Waxbert's Wonder Pads and I've been using them ever since and I love them. I've almost run out of these and I wasn't sure where to buy them online. I don't really like shopping online so I thought while I'm at the show I'll pick up two more. And these were actually discounted today. I think they were 35% off. 
Um, so they worked out to be about £3 or so. But yeah, so I picked up two packets of these. We also got a free Lucas Aid as we were leaving, which is very um, interesting. Uh, and do you know what? I went to say hello to the lovely ladies at Dr. Paul Paul, and I actually know the owner because it was this time last year that I actually met her for the first time and bought loads of stuff from her and completely fell in love with the brand. And they have actually just launched a brand new product. This is their Red Balm, but it has flecks of gold glitter in it, which I think is so, so pretty. You might have seen it in my vlog so she very kindly gave me one of these to try out i think that's going to be perfect in the run up to christmas next the lovely ladies at no view lashes gave me one of their lash and brow conditioning serums this brand new eye makeup remover which i don't even know if it's actually launched yet so i'm not too sure if i'm allowed to be showing you but hey i've started now so i'll show you oh this looks nice this is an eye makeup remover so this looks really handy and they also gave me this really cute mirror this is so cute i mean it's a little bit heavy but it's a little handbag mirror that says lvl on it apparently that's to celebrate lvl being around for 10 years i had no idea it's been around for that long i think i only discovered it myself about four years ago my last goodie bag which i picked up from the press event that i went to is this i have no idea what's inside this one so we've got some skinny tea tea toxes this is by slimming solutions there's a really cute mini of benefit air patrol this is a bb cream eyelid primer i've never tried that before so that looks really cool oh this is nice this is the dermalogica phyto replenish oil for dewy skin i'm not sure what that is that looks really good um a couple more bits in here there's a powder brush from the vintage cosmetic company that looks quite cute there's a nyx face and body glitter in the shade number 12 that looks black um, and there's a NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Rome. So that's all there was in the goodie bag, but I'm saving the best thing till last. Oh my God. Although I think you've actually seen it because I feel like I filmed a clip as I was leaving Olympia Beauty showing you. So yeah, that's kind of ruined it. But basically I am now the proud owner of a Style Pro brush cleaner. This is gonna make my life so much easier. I saw the demo and I had a couple of questions because I've seen loads of people using it, loads of people on Snapchat and YouTube reviews and stuff like that. And it's sounds really good but my one question is does it actually damage the brushes because obviously like if you take this brush for example it's spraying the hairs everywhere and I don't want the bristles to then break or become loose and you know keep falling out the ferrules but the lady was like look we're using really cheap brushes and they said Wilco on them so they were really cheap and um, she was like we've been doing demos all day and they're completely fine because it doesn't actually pull the hairs backwards it just sort of brings them out at a 180 degree angle is what she said but anyway demo looks so good they had a deal on i think it's normally 60 pounds and the brush cleaner is 15 if you buy the bigger size and you get a smaller one but i'm not sure but they had a special offer on for the show and it was 50 pounds for the whole machine thing and the small brush cleanser but i cheekily asked if i could get the bigger one instead because i do have a lot of brushes as you might be able to see and she was so nice she actually gave me the bigger one and she also threw in their new style file nail file and the emergency on the go keyring one do you leave me a comment down below if you want me to review this or if you want me to show you how i use it and stuff like that of course i'll need to figure it out myself first or maybe i could film like an unboxing video for you so let me know what you'd like to see with this because i'm just over the moon with this purchase i'm so so happy with it but i'm going to end my vlog here because i think it's just gone eight o'clock and i've got loads of work to catch up on tonight so i'm just gonna be really boring for the rest of the evening but thank you for watching i really hope you're enjoying the halloween content and i I will see you next time. Bye.